Hi there guys what's up this is your friend and tutor Manas and guys we'll be continuing with our discussion on scales and the type of scale that we're going to deal with today is what you call diagonal scale well what exactly is a diagonal scale man well to be very brief and precise i would just say that it's a type of scale in which as many as three different dimensions can be shown at the same time that's a main unit sub unit and a sub sub unit for example you can say kilometer represents the main unit so below kilometer we have meter as the sub unit and below meter we have centimeter as the sub sub unit all right so let's see what the problem has in store here we go construct a diagonal scale of rf is equal to 1 over 32 showing yards feet and inches and to measure up to 4 yards all right so we have this representative fraction 1 is to 32 um this value this figure in itself should communicate that the original dimension has been reduced 32 times to fit in properly into a drawing sheet all right uh, the scale that we are supposed to prepare should be good enough, should be long enough rather to measure up to 4 yards. So that's the maximum length. Now we're going to get the value of length of scale and it's given by this formula RF multiplied by maximum length ML. Now on putting this value the RF as 1 over 32 and maximum length as 4 yards, we're going to have this. Now you can clearly see that this length of scale is being computed in yards but we want this to be in centimeters and for that we need to do some kind of a conversion. Why are we doing this conversion? Because the ruler with which we're going to do all those construction stuff, all those geometrical instruments that we are having is in centimeters or inches. All right. And to be very frank in India, we're using the centimeter scale. So we have to convert this into centimeters. And for that, the conversion is pretty simple. One yard is equivalent to three feet. One feet is equal to 12 inches and one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Just do this multiplication. All right, and you're going to have this value as the length of the scale 11.4 centimeters precisely. All right, let's move ahead and let's draw a line initially of 11.4 centimeters. So this is the length on drawing sheet. Okay, length of a scale that originally represented the maximum length. So you can also say that this line over here represents a maximum length of four yards. Now, if you want to see a division of one yard each, you have to divide this line into four equal parts. And for that, the process of division is pretty simple. Please follow the steps. Just draw a line of any suitable length at any suitable angle and then one centimeter arc starting from this point as the center. You need to put up an arc of radii one centimeter over here. Then with this as center, put one more arc two. That's going to be three and that's four. Four arcs for four division along this line. Then this point has to be joined with this point. Okay. With the help of a mini drafter, tighten the screw, bring it to the third point, draw a line, bring it to the second point draw a line, bring it to the first point, draw a line, you'll eventually realize that this line gets divided into four equal parts. All right. You can clearly see that these are four parts. Okay. And each part or each division is representing a length of or a distance of one yard. Okay. And at the end of first division, I'm going to be placing a zero over here. This is going to be one, two and three. So the main unit as far as this particular problem is concerned is yards. Okay. And somewhere in between, I will be writing RF. And over here, I'll be writing the immediate smaller unit to yard. And that's obviously foot. Okay. And one yard is equivalent to three feet. Fine. And in the next step, you need to give this diagonal scale some kind of height. Now, I've taken this height as five centimeters. You can take it anything. You can take it six centimeters, seven centimeters, but don't take it more than seven centimeters. All right. You don't need to waste space. All right. So we're going to go ahead over from here and let's join it finally. And these are the intersecting points. Let's draw these so-called markings. Now, guys, if you watch this carefully, this portion over here represents a distance of one yard. One yard is equal to three feet. Okay. Now, in order to see a division of one feet each, what needs to be done is this portion has to be divided into three equal parts. Okay. And for that, the process is pretty simple. Just draw a line, so any suitable angle, any suitable length, put in arcs of equal radii. So I would recommend you guys to put up arcs of five millimeters or 10 millimeters. Okay like this one two and three okay and then this third point has to be joined with this point over here all right and keep your drafters along this line tighten the screw bring it to the second point first point that's it and that's how you divide this portion into three equal parts now comes the concept of a diagonal okay this portion over here represents one feet this portion over here from this point to this point represents two feet and obviously this portion is represents three feet now this one feet has to be joined with this zero something like this. Now keep your mini chapters aligned along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to this point, draw a line, bring it to this point, draw a line. That's it. Okay. So this much portion over here represents one foot. This is two feet and this is three feet. 
right that's it now but the issue is how do you represent inches something else has to be carried out and a question might be arising in your mind that why have i joined it diagonally there is a specific reason for that and i'll come to that just a bit later until then just try to think about this this portion over here represents one foot and one foot is equivalent to 12 inches okay so in order to have a division of one inch what you need to do is you need to divide this portion into 12 equal parts but it appears as if this small portion cannot be further divided into 12 parts so something else has to be worked out that is over here okay you see this vertical line and we're gonna draw a line at any suitable angle of any suitable length and we're gonna be placing 12 arcs over here okay equally spaced 5 millimeters apart okay or you can also say you're gonna be putting up arcs of radii 5 millimeters each okay something like this first arc so these are the 12 arcs and from this point we're gonna join this point like this keep your drafters along this line bring it to this 11th point and then keep on repeating the process until you reach here okay now you can clearly see that this line has got itself divided into 12 equal parts next thing to do is pretty simple keep your drafters along this line over here or set it horizontally bring it to this point draw a line this point draw a line keep on doing so okay until all the points have been exhausted now i'll show you how this line eventually has got divided into 12 equal parts let me show you now this much portion over here from this point to this point and this is what you call um, 12 inches this is one foot obviously this is one foot from this point to this point uh, that can also be said that this represents a distance of 12 inches so this represents a distance of 11 this is 10 this is 9 8 this is 7 inches this is 6 inches 5 inches 4 this is 3 this is 2 and this is one very small very small you need to zoom in okay and that means uh, over here we have zero this is one two three four five six this is going to be six over here seven eight nine ten eleven and this is going to be twelve over here so let's write it down zero six and twelve and this over here the unit is obviously inch okay so this is the main unit sub unit and sub sub unit all right guys so guys that was all from my side i hope you like the presentation and content in this particular video tutorial and if you like the video, do give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. And guys, if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way. There are a whole lot of problems in store based on diagonal scales and I'll be discussing in detail all of them. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.